tonight's nine at nine. At least six people were killed and dozens more badly injured following an explosion at a chemical plant in eastern China. That explosion was caused by a fire inside the plant. China news agencies say that shock waves from the blast brought down nearby factory buildings and trapped several workers. In Iraq, more than 50 people killed when a ferry capsized in the Tigris River. 12 of those killed were children. The ferry was carrying people to a tourist island for the Kurdish New Year celebration when it flipped over in high water. Police in Atlanta say they're planning to reopen several decades old child murder cases. Those cases all happened during a two year period starting in 1979. Police say they're going to retest evidence in hope of bringing closure to some of the victims' families. A shelter in place order has been lifted in Deer Park, Texas, following a large chemical fire which burned there for days. People were asked to stay inside due to issues with air quality. Though the order was lifted, several school districts still canceled classes Thursday. Firefighters remain there at the scene in case of any flare ups during the cleanup process. A popular San Antonio restaurant along Highway 281 just north of Bitters was damaged during a kitchen fire early Thursday morning. The owner of Alamo Cafe says the motor of the vent hood in the kitchen caught fire. Firefighters put it out quickly, but the roof of the building suffered some major damage. It's unclear when the restaurant will reopen. The Salvation Army is assisting with the influx of immigrants entering the U.S. at the border in Texas. They have set up temporary housing for up to 100 refugees per night in McAllen. In addition to that, they're also giving out more than 1,000 meals to families each day. The Salvation Army is now asking for donations to keep their services up and running. In Georgia, nearly $35 million worth of marijuana and other drugs seized in Atlanta. Police say this is one of the biggest drug trafficking cases ever in this area. 16 people have been arrested, 1,500 pot plants were seized, all in addition to hundreds of thousands in cash, 22 handguns, and six vehicles. Many people in Los Angeles say they were shocked to see a large fireball in the sky there. It was caused by an aerial stunt put on by Red Bull base jumpers using wingsuits which shot off sparks. The stunt was part of a celebration of the last supermoon of 2019. Jimmy Carter is now the oldest living former president in U.S. history. Carter, who served as the 39th president of the United States, is 94 years, 172 days old. That's one day older than former President George H.W. Bush was when he passed away. To read more about these nine stories, go to ksat.com slash news at nine.